Hello everyone, my name is Isabella Sislawati. I'm an excellent Pobia enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I want to walk you through the recent update to slicer settings. So I'm going to make a simple slicer so that we can have product slicer. When you click this, it will interact with the visuals on the left. So previously, if you want to change the slicer settings, then what you need to do is hit these three dot points. But now that's changed, what you need to do is click format your visuals and then click slicer settings and then select other options. For example, I'm going to change this to drop down list, which is my favorite because it doesn't take up much space and you can click whatever you want in here. And there are also many other options where you can modify the selections that your users can select. For example, at the moment, single select is off. If you turn it on, what happens is a user can only select one product. Whereas when you turn it off, a user can select multiple items. Multiple selection is enabled as long as you press control and click whatever you want. The other thing which is useful is show select all. When you turn it on, watch this, you now have this tick box that you can tick. And when you tick that, every single item is selected. So that's basically the change. Now, everything that you need to do, if you want to modify the slicer, you can find it on the right. However, it's really not everything. There is one more thing that Power BI has left. And that is this search button. The search is still here. And when you want to enable it, you still need to click this three dotted point. I really wonder why don't they migrate that all into slicer settings. So what you need to do is click search. And then when you do that, there is this search criteria in here, where if you just type A, for example, it just finds it for you. So this is useful for when your list is long and maybe you have lots of words. I hope you have enjoyed this video and see you next time.